Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another episode. After I reviewed the footage from yesterday, I realised I wasn't happy with the amount of thatch left in my lawn. As discussed yesterday, the plan was to lightly rake over it to pull out some of the thatch and to then purchase a scarifier to aid me in my work and save me a lot of time. After doing a fair bit of research online, I found this scarifier from Screwfix. I believe it's their own branded machine and after reading the ratings I was pleasantly surprised with the positive feedback overall. The model in the picture is the WR6002 Raker and Scarifier as it's a two-in-one piece of machinery. I will be doing a short video upon the build and construction and the overall sturdiness which will be coming shortly after this one today. Inside the instruction manual I found a useful guide on how I should set my scarifier up for the first pass of my lawn. Considering I'd already previously done this by hand, I decided to go with option two, and I pulled up the lever and set it to two, which was easy enough to do. After setting the adjustment I was happy with, I then made my first pass. I couldn't quite believe how quickly it was pulling the thatch out and the amount that was coming out with just one simple pass. I did find that I was having to empty the basket regularly between each interval in order to stop the thatch falling out below the scarifier. So far though, this is the only fault I've been able to find. For the price of the machinery, I'm very impressed and it's going to save me a lot of time in the future. In what took me about 7 minutes, I'd achieved double on what I'd done the previous day in raking it out by hand. I was tempted to make multiple passes but with the weather against me, today I'm just going for the single pass. In the next clip you can see what happens if you don't empty the basket regularly as this will quickly fill up with thatch. All I'm going to do with this is place it into my compost machine so it can be recycled for further use in the future. And this is what my lawn looked like once complete. I decided to target certain areas more than others, as this year I don't plan to overseed. My plan is this year to conduct a light scarify in between every few cuts. This will promote a healthy lawn and I will be able to keep on top of my thatch much easier now I've purchased a scarifier. As always, thank you for watching. If you do like my videos, please feel free to like or comment or even subscribe for weekly content. As promised in previous videos, I will be conducting two more episodes, one on sowing a fresh lawn and the second video will be about the scarifier I've just purchased. I'll talk about the build quality and how well I thought it worked on my lawn. As always, thank you for watching.